We're finally here, the long-awaited Mekong Delta series on Phuc Ma for Long. I made this road trip to not only explore new places in Vietnam for me, but also to create some outstanding videos for my audience to enjoy. In each of these cities, I'll be exploring the culture, trying their specialties, and of course, meeting the friendly people. The first stop on this trip is Sadek, a city known for its flowers, and better yet, the mouth-watering dish called Hu Tiu. After taking the ferry from me, and I checked into a hotel and got right to work. Kak bang, oi, fuk ma, day, welcome to Sadek, moin, oi, oi. This is the Mekong Delta, or as the Vietnamese say, the Mien Thai. So I drove down here, took about six hours, and truth be told, I really didn't know much about this town. But I asked my Vietnamese friends, and they said it's famous for a dish known as Ho Tiu. And I thought about it, I haven't reviewed Ho Tiu on my channel yet. So this is a perfect time in the place that has this as a specialty. So I found three really good places next to my hotel. I'm gonna go check them out. If I'm still hungry, I'll get another one. I didn't eat breakfast today, so I am pretty hungry. Let's get the vlog started. I'm really excited for this, everyone. It's not very often that I get to explore a new city in Vietnam. I mean, my last trips, I went to Phu Quoc, been there before. Uh, da Lat, been there many times. Da Nang, been there many times. So to come to a place like Sadek, well, I've never been to Sadek. I've never been anywhere close to here. So very excited to explore, see what it has to offer. I'm probably one of the only, if not the only, Nguy Thai in this city right now, which is awesome. John, hello. He said this one is more delicious, so for sure, we're going to get this one here. Chào cô! Then we got some hủ tiêu here with some hủ tiêu bò viên or beef balls. Super excited to try this. I noticed they use a chai tak. They don't use a chai chan or not chai tak. Chai tak. They don't use chai chan. Very interesting. So I'm a fan of any citrus flavor. Definitely load that up in here. Ming dou tiên. Let's see. That is. Good. I've had a hủ tiêu by my house. Um, granted, it's all right, but I've never, this is an honest opinion, I've never had a hủ tiêu that tastes like this. There's almost a stiffness to these noodles. Obviously, they're a bit different. They remind me of the Kao Lao up in Hoi An, Da Nang. It, it, it's a similar texture to that. Obviously a different color, but similar texture. I don't know how much I was recording, but this kid over here at the market, I was looking for one on Google Maps that had good ratings. I saw it on the maps, around the corner, but there's three spots. Obviously the city's famous for it. There's three spots for it. And I said, all right, uh, which one's the best? And he said, this one. Not the one on Google Maps. This one. Because it has the beef balls, which is the normal one, for 35000 But then it has extra cuts of beef as well. Both of you here, the best I've ever had. But this is only the first spot. So uh, another thing this city is famous for, Sadek, is famous for flowers. And if you look over here, you'll see some flowers. And I heard in the city, I heard in the city there's flowers everywhere. Where is this one? Is you? I found it. It's right up here. Chào anh. Hello. Ở đây có hủ tiêu ngon không? 
Đó. Wow, đồng quá. Trời đất ơi. Okay. Và hôm nay em có một nhiệm vụ là ăn nhiều hủ tiếu với Sadek. So, có, có bàn không? Có chỗ không? Ngồi đây hả? Ok, cũng được. And this is the second place morning with after filming hundreds of videos by myself over the last four years, I soon learned that not every shot comes out as you planned. And unfortunately, this second Hutiu spot had an audio mishap. So I'll just have to explain it to you now. Out of the three spots I visited, this one had some of the most unique flavors in their ingredients. Getting the mix of pork and seafood really showed what they were capable of. The staff was beyond hospitable, and the restaurant itself was a well-oiled machine. If you find yourself in Sadek, I highly recommend it. Okay. When you take the Mekong tour and you sign up for a tour group in Saigon, uh, they take you to Mita and they take you to Kanta. But that's generally it. There is a three day trip. I'm not sure where it goes, maybe Long Swin, but uh, most foreigners would just do one day and go to Mi Tha. And that's why I didn't want to go to Vinh Long, because Vinh Long, it's a lot of foreigners and we're not trying to hang out with foreigners on this trip, so. The third spot on our list, Wan Thu Bang. Đây là Wan Thu Thang. And I asked them what their specialty was. They said, Hu Tiêu Kho. Mia Mai là Hu Tiêu Kho. That means we just ate Hu Tiêu Kho. And Mia Mai là Kho Nuk Mia. They mời. It's free. I love Nuk Mia. Now, I notice here they have Chai Chan as opposed to Chai Tak at the first place. They also use uh, some lettuce. It looks like some uh, fried onions. Anyway, guys. Oh, so here we have some uh, some lòng. Lòng heo đúng không? Okay. Đây là là lòng heo mọi người ơi. The pig intestines. <laughs> Long time since I had some lòng heo. It's been a while. I'm not someone who normally eats lòng heo, lòng bò, lòng gà, but you know, when you're on vacation, do as the people in Sadek do. This one's really good as well. And that's the beauty of trying all these different places is each one has its own specialty. I like this with the lettuce. This is the best vegetable I've had with it so far. This one, also thumbs up. It's hard to rate because they're each special in their own way. The last one was very top cotton. I had all the variety. This one is straight with the pork. Had the heart, had the intestines, had the regular meat. And the first one, the ball bean. Really good. So it's really hard to rate these, but I gotta say, I'm not disappointed with any of them. Hey, Anh Nhi. Hãy. Giáo hỏi. Hãy. Hey, chào anh. Chào, chào anh. Whoa, làm sao mà biết được? Oh, come on. Nice to meet you. Hey, chào bro. Quay calm. Good to see you, man. All right, guys, I'm sitting at a cafe in Sadek, finishing up this video before the next trek. But what do you guys think? Did you prefer the Bavian? Did you prefer the second one? Or did you prefer the traditional Hu Tiu Ko that's been there for like 35 years? Let me know down in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on the bell notifications because I will have more videos from this Mekong trip coming shortly after. Until next time, hang up, fly, and chuk mong na mong.